My name is Ji Chi, and I'm the co-founder and creative director of Chibitronics. I'm also a research affiliate at the MIT Media Lab. My background is actually in mechanical engineering, but I always loved paper craft. And I got a summer internship at MIT where I was told, hey, I want you to make sensors out of paper crafts because I came from the paper craft kind of background. And that's when I started building um, circuitry sensors out of paper and in order to make them do interesting things I learned to program an Arduino to hook up the sensor and that's when I really got interested in programming so it was from that project I made a pop-up book that had sensors and interactive elements in it um, that was programmed that I started to get really excited about coding and then I shifted from mechanical to electrical to computer science then so from that project I was able to combine kind of the arts and crafts of paper along with the interactive activity of programming and that was really mind-blowing to me. I had so much fun and so since then I've started making artwork that are interactive and electronic and because it's such a fun thing to do I've been trying to share with other people so teaching others to use these same techniques of paper craft programming electronics to make interactive artworks for themselves too. And so the, the research that I do is looking at how do we use kind of arts and craft techniques and materials to create electronics. And so this is uh, using conductive copper tape and then these are actually LED stickers that when you add uh, a battery, the stickers, whoops, the stickers light up and they turn on and they glow. And that's already kind of magical because it's like, oh my gosh, you know, this notebook is glowing. But then you can turn the page and then add a, a scene on top of your circuit. And so you're using circuitry as like a marker, as a crayon. And so um, in, in this way, it gives kind of a story and a context to why we want to build technologies. You don't want to learn CS because it's important. You want to learn CS because it allows you to make cool stuff. So that's kind of what I'm hoping to share with my work. I guess you could call that a mission now. And so I create toolkits, I teach workshops, I work with educators, and I also make artwork as kind of examples of what you can do with this sort of medium. I mean, for me as a maker, it's really fun to create and you know create things that I'm like, wow, I can't believe this is possible. This is really exciting. And then I see that when I teach other people, their you know their faces literally light up because we're building circuits. But then they get this like aha moment that's like, wow, I didn't know I could do that. I didn't know I could make stuff like that. And that's just really, really exciting for me. It's empowering for them, and um, you know that's that's what keeps me excited to keep doing this. I came to Crossroads because there's just such a wonderful um, community of people here so I've been listening to people everything from educators from uh, kind of people who are creating the whole department to people like myself who are making tools um, and that's been just really really exciting to connect with everyone and kind of uh, see all up and down the line from the individual student in the classroom up to you know at like a state level what are the challenges that they're uh, kind of encountering as well as what are the things that they're thinking about and so having to see the full big picture is kind of amazing um, and so I've been able to just both learn so much as well as share my story and get some really amazing ideas and feedback and so it's amazing and, and, and it's, it feels like a community because a lot of these people we've had these conversations we've been continuing them so it's just really nice. <laughs> as kind of an engineer, creator, entrepreneur I'm I, you know I see one side but it's exciting to kind of like learn from the more educator perspective. So I feel very special to be here, yeah.